Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. They continue to prove very well to this very day. Let us feed the flood through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh And also Shalom to the hope we lack. Let's also labor in his work. Let's give you due diligence to make your calling and election sure. In faith and truth and sincerity and all charity. Now, um, the topic of this video is uh, <clears throat> going to be entitled The Marriage Supper, in which, uh, if the Spirit, of course, has it to where I title this video in a different way, of course, I'm going to change the title according to the Spirit. But uh, in this particular video, um, <clears throat> I'm going to be going over the, the joining together or the marriage between uh, the Heavenly Father, which is the, the true name of the Heavenly Father in ancient Hebrew is Yahweh, in which uh, the joining of the Most High or the joining between the Most High and the nation of Israel. Okay, because, you know, even in the, uh, the name Israel or the word Israel, uh, the Hebrew word for Israel is uh, Yashar Allah, which means uh, he is the prince of the power. Okay, so with Israel being uh, the prince of the power, of course, the Most High, through his son Yahweh Shai, which is his name is also in ancient Hebrew, which that's his true name, is going to uh, join the nation of Israel back to the Heavenly Father, or the nation of Israel is to be uh, joined back. To the heavenly father as his sons all right because scriptures tell you that um israel is the most high son even his firstborn all right and that's why also the joining together of uh, the two parties which is uh, the nation of israel and the most high you know that's also known as uh, a marriage right when you have a marriage really that's that's two individuals uh, that, that are becoming one. All right, That's why the scriptures say uh, they are no longer twain, but one flesh. All right. So that's how it's going to be in the uh, all right, once we join back with the Most High through the Son, Yahweh Shai, when he delivers us out of this coming destruction, that's when we're going to be joined back to the Heavenly Father. And that's also going to be when we're uh, going to be once again uh, near and dear to him as he uh, wanted it from the beginning okay so I'm going to go ahead and jump to the word uh, marry real quick this is a simple definition right uh, so there's the word uh, marry right which means uh, to obtain which I'm going to read this uh, this last bit of this uh, definition it says to Obtained by marriage, all right. Uh, definition number two is to unite in close and usually permanent relation. See, so <clears throat> this is a, a, a permanent relation, okay. In which this is the, the 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 permanent relation in which this this is uh, going to be an unbreakable relation. Okay. A relation that's never going to be done away with. All right, because the reason why is because, um, <clears throat> just to get Brees up here, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 1. It says, They say, If a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, saith the Lord Yahweh Bashamel Shai. See? So they say that a man put away his, his his wife, right? Signs a bill of divorce and become another man. So should that woman return to her again? Now in the carnal sense, if you were for the uh, the fall of the law, then no, she wouldn't be able to go back to him again. All right, because she's polluted, and Israel 
is that that woman all right now go ahead and grab that it's uh, jeremiah chapter 6 verse 2 it says i have likened the, the daughter of zion to a calmly and delicate woman okay and this is straight into the point okay so the lord is likened the daughter of zion which the daughter of zion is talking about the nation of israel he has likened likened her to a calmly and delicate woman okay and that same woman that i'm reading here in jeremiah the uh second chapter right i was like you the um the first chapter it says shall he return unto her again and shall not let that land be greatly polluted and the answer that is yeah that, that land is polluted when uh, the woman uh, breaks away from her uh, her husband that's why I said, but thou has played the harlot with many lovers. And that's right, because Israel played the harlot with many lovers. Um, and other uh, doctrines and, and philosophies of the nations. All right. But here it is. The Most High said to, uh, said to Israel, yet return again to me, say the Ha'abash. You know, so even though Israel has played the harlot with many lovers, yet the Most High wants to want his woman back. Okay. Um. Let's see if I can grab another one. And just like I think there's more on this here. It's like I want to go down just just a little bit. Like it bear me for one one moment. It's in the same chapter if I can get it. Alright, here it is, yep. Is that uh skip down to verse uh, fourteen? Is as a uh, turn or backslide and children, save the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. All right, so here it says so he, he is married unto the nation of Israel. Okay, and like I read earlier, um, when you are to unite or to, or to join uh, permanently, all right, I can't get the um. Hebrew for the word uh, married. Here it says I got in airplane mode. And there's a reason why I got in airplane mode. Um, <clears throat> Should have taken it off, but that's alright. And there's a there's another definition. I believe it's in the uh, Google definition. If you go look at the uh, Google definition, it tells you that. Um, the act of marriage is the is the joining between two parties. All right. So, just like uh, I know I brought this up before, but um, this you know how you have uh, two companies, right? Um, you have a company that wants to merge with another company. So when one company uh, gets together, sit down with another company, and draws a contract, right? Which that's how. These two companies or these two parties join together by contract, which just like how the Lord set up with Israel, he set up a, a covenant with the nation of Israel as a, and that covenant is that agreement is that contract that binds the two parties together. Okay, So just like how a company, when they um, when they want to merge or come together, they have to form a contract. All right. And that contract can't be broken. So if the contract is broken, then there's a certain amount of penalties for, for doing that. All right. Same thing with Israel. There, there's, there's a penalty for breaking that covenant, and we're going through it right now. We're going through the penalties, in which it comes in the form of the curses. Okay. 
So that's it on that. Um, this book of Revelation chapter 21. I'm going to end off on this. Um, Revelation chapter 21. And this is at... Uh, Lock here. Yep, here it is. Uh, so, Revelation chapter 21, uh, verse 1. It says, and I, was, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down from the most high out of heaven, prepared. As a bride adorned for her husband. All right, in which that's the kingdom. All right, now it's not talking about a literal city that's going to come out of the skies and call New Jerusalem. No, was <clears throat> because the kingdom consists of the people. All right, all right. A kingdom doesn't make a uh, kingdom or a place doesn't make the people. The people make the place. Okay, so New Jerusalem and the holy city is going to be comprised of the one-third all right which the head of the one-third is going to be the elect of the nation of israel it's going to come down from the most high out of heaven and it's going to assert authority and obtain dominion over the planet earth all right so when the scriptures say prepared as a bride adorned for a husband because at one point Israel was uh, decked out all right Israel was decked out with uh, gold uh, precious stones her hair was done you know everything about Israel was beautiful all right until she started playing the harlot and all of that was stripped away from her okay but now that the marriage is about to begin now that uh, the marriage and, the, and the, um, the joining of Israel and the Most High is about to, is about to begin. Now, um, the bride, which is Israel, is being prepared. All right. Now, the, the, the nation of Israel is being beautified again. Okay. The glory that Israel received back in the, in the um, before time, she's getting that glory back. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and end off on that note. Uh, Lord's word was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Until next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well to this day. Shalom. Peace and safety and salutations to the whole field like that's labor in this work. Giving you due diligence to make your calling and election sure. In faith and truth and sincerity and all charity. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.